it's best to not feed bread to your aquarium fish and in this video I'll explain why. If you feed bread to your aquarium fish, uh, the bread will suck up a lot of water and it will basically expand once your fish has eaten it. Um, it's very dangerous because it can cause constipation and can eventually kill your fish. Also, the bread is, is, is food for humans, it's our food, uh, which means it's processed. There's a lot of additional um, ingredients such as salt and other stuff that's uh, not really suitable for fish. You can feed bread to fish um, in very, very low concentrations. Um, if you really don't have anything else to feed them, which I think is unlikely because you can also feed them uh, a lot of other things, um, make sure you feed it in very low concentrations. And you can also pre prepare the bread to feed to your fish um, because the main risk is indeed constipation. So uh, the bread has a tendency to suck up a lot of water and become or basically double or triple in size. Uh, so if you want to prepare the bread to feed to your fish, make sure to soak it first in a cup of water. Another risk that's very prominent um, if you're feeding bread to fish is the tendency of bread to fall apart in a thousand small pieces. Uh, so if you put bread in the water, um, your fish will, will eat it because fish are dumb and they will eat it. Um, but they will only eat a small percentage of the bread and the rest of the bread will um, dwell down to the bottom of your aquarium and your fish won't touch it. I don't know if you've noticed, but uh, at least my fish, especially the uh, schooling fish and the top dwellers, um, once food touches the bottom of, their, of the aquarium, they don't touch it anymore. And the same goes for bread. And everything, or yeah, everything that you add to your aquarium, uh, especially food, um, will start to rot and decay uh, over time. And everything that starts to rot and decay will become an ammonia source. And ammonia, as you might probably already know, is um, the mo yeah, it's, it's part of the nitrogen cycle and it's toxic to fish in very low concentrations. So in low concentrations, um, it's stressful and it will eventually kill your fish. Therefore, we want to avoid any uh, matter or yeah, any decaying matter, may it be uh, dead plant matter, uh, other organic waste or uneaten food, especially uneaten food, <laughs> um, because we don't want to kill our fish due to an ammonia spike. Just now I said that there are indeed a lot of other options uh, to feed your fish if you don't have fish food and you don't have bread. And the first option that I would go for is uh, vegetables. Um, especially, uh, as you might probably know, shrimp and snails eat vegetables such as lettuce or uh, cucumber or... Um, what's, a, what's a courgette in English? Zucchini, I knew that, of course. Um, zucchini is also a very good option to feed to your fish. Um, at first, the fish won't recognize it as food but later on uh, they might, especially when they turn hungry, because if fish are not hungry, they are very picky. Uh, so a lot of fish will also start to eat algae and uh, other um, organic material if they don't get food. So in short, it's best to not feed your fish any bread because bread will expand and cause constipation. There are alternatives, try feeding live food or uh, vegetables, it's best to feed unprocessed food to your fish. Uh, bread will also be devastating to your water quality because it will fall apart and your fish will only eat a small part of the bread and the rest will just fall down to the bottom of your aquarium, start to decay and cause an ammonia spike. If you're ready to learn more about fish keeping, make sure to subscribe to my channel, leave a like if you enjoyed the video and if you've got any questions, comment them down below and uh, I'll be there to answer them for you. See you around guys, cheers.